Hello again, and in this video I am going to be showing you one of the most powerful functions of the Zygote 3D Anatomy Atlas and Dissection Lab app. That is the Slice Tool. This tool is it's just amazing. It's unlike anything you've ever seen in any other anatomy app. So now, not only with this app can you visualize the entire human anatomy in full interactive 3D, but you can also slice away anatomy to reveal underlying anatomy. So for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and clear my scene by selecting All and removing it. I'm also going to go to my settings up here and turn the body off. So now I have a completely blank scene. I'm going to bring in some anatomy by region and for this I'm going to bring in the head. So this is going to bring in all of the anatomy associated with the head. I'm going to go ahead and take the skin and remove it so that we can see the underlying anatomy. Now I can slice through this entire set of anatomy models at once if I do select all. Now by turning on the slice tool down here at the bottom left I can use two fingers to set my slice plane. You can see I can interactively move that plane however I want it to be and then when I've got an angle that I like I use one finger to go up and down that slice plane. Pretty cool. Now if I turn the tool off I'll be able to rotate around and get maybe a little bit of a better view of what I'm doing. Turn it back on and again go up and down that slice pretty cool. Now it's a little confusing to slice absolutely everything at once especially with a scene like this so I'm gonna turn the slice off. Up at the top here if I go to slice and turn it off here all my models go back to being full. Now this time instead of slicing everything at once I'm just gonna select the major muscles of the head and slice them independently. I turn on my slice tool using two fingers again I can set the slice plane. Now if I flip all the way around I can go from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top whatever I'm trying to do. Turn the tool off I can rotate around and look at my scene a little better. Turn it back on and again with one finger interactively move up and down that slice plane. And You can even move these little names if they're getting in your way. So now that I've got the muscle sliced I can click on the cranium and slice it at a totally different angle. Turn on my slice tool again use two fingers, flip all the way around, go from the bottom to the top, whatever I'm trying to do but you can see it's a completely different angle than I sliced the muscles at. I'm going to turn it off and rotate around, turn it back on and slice through. Pretty cool. Alright I'm going to turn it off I'm going to actually take the dura matter here and get rid of it and see into the brain a little better. Now I can select my cerebrum, use my slice tool again and slice it again at a completely different angle than I sliced the other two pieces. Turn it off, rotate around a little bit and you can see the underlying geometry being revealed as I slice through and you can do any number of different slices to any number of different pieces. Now if your scene is starting to get a little too confusing here's a little tip. If I select on just one piece, let's do the cranium, using my tools down here I can do invert selection so now everything except the cranium is selected. And I hit remove I'm left with just the cranium and I can use that to uh, to slice it exactly how I want. So I'm going to go ahead and slice it a little differently here, show some of the cool features of this skull. Rotate around. You can see all the sinuses. The skull is just a really neat model. Very cool. Okay, so once I have that sliced exactly how I want it, turn the slice tool off. Now if I hit undo up at the top, it will bring back all the models that I previously deleted. And so that way you can work on one piece at a time. So now I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm going to start with a clean slate again here. Remove all. I'm going to bring in a couple of different systems here. I'm going to bring in the skeletal system uh, and again I showed this in the, in the rendering video but you can see that everything is automatically selected when you when you first bring it into your scene. You can tell by the outline of the skeleton. If I click anywhere on the screen it becomes unselected. So I'm going to bring in a couple of different uh, different systems here. I'm going to bring in the digestive system, uh, maybe the respiratory system, 
and there you go. But now, lastly, I'm going to bring in the muscle system. And this time, I'm going to leave it selected. So now, with all my muscles selected, if I click on the slice tool, I can interactively slice through all my muscles at the same time while leaving everything else unsliced. And again, spin it around if you want to go from top to bottom. If I turn it off, I can rotate around to get a better view of what I'm doing. Turn it back on and just slice right through all the muscles of the body. Very powerful. Very powerful tool. So, besides being the best tool for learning anatomy, this app is, well, it's just fun to play with. Uh, you can use it to make some really amazing anatomy images. Uh, so be sure to watch my rendering video to see how to do that. And uh, be sure to check out this app. You can find it on the, app, uh, the Apple iTunes Store. Uh, it's called Zygote 3D Anatomy Atlas and Dissection Lab. And I hope you enjoy it.